could I have been such a fool to think for one second that maybe you have come over here out of decency or respect? No, of course not. You came to accuse your mother. No, no, I just of came to tell you that, that I know the truth about what happened. And Oh, you want to talk truth. about truth? Well, then let's talk about the truth of the blood that's on your hands, Jason. And I don't mean just the blood of the people that you have Monica, killed in the name I, I, of your... I have the proof. You're the one who ran down Sam. Uh, there's a construction site on Tuckerton near where Sam was hit, and there are security cameras cover that stretch of road. Well, Sonny gave you time off from your mob enforcement duties to investigate your mother? I, I didn't know what I was going to find on that video. Oh, but you were really ready to believe it, weren't you? Especially after the ridiculous accusations Tracy has made at the hospital, I'm sure you really wanted to believe it. Why, Jason? Why, after everything you have done to this family? Unless, of course, maybe you, uh, you want to divert suspicion from someone else, someone who is... Obviously more important than me. Security footage shows that Sam is being hit. It was your car. You were driving. I really hoped it had been a, um, a log or a guardrail or something. You don't remember. Is it because you blacked out? What if I say yes? Are you going to offer to cover it up for me? Don't panic. I wasn't serious. It's just that all of the people that you have lied or covered up for, I was just kind of wondering if you would... Uh, offer to do the same for me. I just was curious as to where I stood. You already tried to cover this up. Oh, that was... That was even before Sam. I mean, I've been going through this nasty lawsuit with Tracy. I didn't want to give her any more ammunition, like me nodding off behind the wheel of a car because I was exhausted. Monica, you were, you were drinking. Oh, is that what uh, your sources say? I don't, I don't. I don't need anybody to tell me anything. No. You know me so well. You had to be drunk. You wouldn't have driven off and left Sam in the road. Well, Jason, can you blame me for drinking? You've taken everything away from me. You have put Sunny and that business above. Me. Absolutely everything above AJ, above Alan, who died waiting for you while you were doing Sonny's bidding. And Emily, Emily, who thought you were the sun and the moon and the stars and forgave you every single thing. She died because Diego Alcazar wanted to get revenge on you because of what you did to his father. I don't have anything jason you've taken it so you take take that surveillance tape you do whatever you want to do with it but just get out just get out you can hate me as much as you need to just uh, i want you to get out get out Mr. Cassadine's here to see you, Dr. Q. Um, how about I make you guys a fresh pot of tea? No, that, that, uh, all right, Alice. Thank you. I'm really not in the mood for visitors, Nicholas. No, 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 this, uh, this isn't just a social call. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. I have an idea. 
that I'd like you to work with me on to make a reality. I want to set up a program at the hospital in Emily's memory, and I'd like your help, your ideas. Your... Why are you really here? That's, that's why I'm here. I'd, I'd really like your help with it. I mean, if you think that that's going to lessen the pain, you think that's going to bring Emily closer to you, well, you're wrong. She's dead, and we have to face that. And uh, I guess I'm, 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 I'm sorry about that, because it really... It was really more about me than it was about you. You, I know, love Emily more than anything in the world, but you seem to be, you seem to be coping with it. You've gone on with your life. No, no, not really. I'm actually terrified of living without Emily. Sometimes I wish I were dead. Oh, no, no. Say that. But that's not what Emily would want from me. I don't know, Dr. Cormain. Maybe a way to ease your pain is to think about what Emily would want for you.